Hey everyone, it's me, Father Leo, with PlatingGrace.com, and today let's reflect on what we learned last week. I call it learning from leftovers, so that we can hunger for something good this week. And last week, all eyes were on the first of three presidential debates. They were difficult to listen to at times. There was a lot of defensiveness, and certainly you can see the division. And why? Because the devil is in the details. Just a quick little hint for anyone who is freaking out about politics. If you stop demonizing people who are different from you or have a different political affiliation, then we're probably going to be in a little bit more of a peaceful place to do something that God wants us all to do. And that's listen to each other. So we need to take time to listen to each other fully without interruption. But if there are lies, then we need to stop it right from the start because we know that lies and rumors spread more quickly than good news. And I wanted to focus on the good news because we seem to be experiencing so much bad news. And the word for someone who brings news into the world, you know what we call them? Evangelists. And that word is actually rooted in agolos, which basically means news bearer, but it's the root word in the Greek where we get the word angels. So interestingly for me, the first presidential debates, which was news, was actually on September the 29th, which was the feast of the archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Those three archangels have preeminent importance to bring a particular type of news to the world. So for example, Raphael is supposed to bring the healing remedy of God. Gabriel, who was there to be uh, the message bearer for the annunciation of the child Jesus to Mary, he brings, in a sense, the voice of God. And Michael is known as he who is like God, who brings the power of God. We have to ask ourselves, are we looking for a political leader who's going to bring us good news by showing us the healing quality of God's love? Someone who's going to bring to us a, a, a good news annunciation. I mean, are we always in doom and gloom? But are, is there good news? I dare say there is. And is there someone who's going to show strength, true strength of God that's not going to allow lawlessness, but is truly going to try to follow the law of God by following also our inherent rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? You see, what we need to do is stop demonizing each other, do better job of listening to each other, and also making sure that we are bringing good news in the same preeminent way that the archangels did. That's what I reflected on this past week, especially knowing that the debates were on the feast of the archangel celebration. And therefore, what I want to do is look forward to this week. And what can we look forward to? Well, I just look to the sacred scriptures. And this week, we are looking at the, the word of God as something to bring us healing, especially through something powerful called wine. You see, in the Sunday's reading for this week, we have images of the vineyard of the Lord. And we know that there are good seeds that will plant, hopefully, a good harvest. But if the seed is planted in very unhealthy areas, the, the grapes themselves won't be healthy. And, and we also know that if there's unhealthiness on the inside, it's going to show up on the outside and we won't want to accept Jesus into our life, which is the gospel. You know, people rejected the prophets. They rejected the kings. And if there is that bad seed dwelling within us, then we're not going to want to accept Jesus, who is going to feed us with his body and blood, which will taste like wine. And so this is just a unique time in our lives. And maybe we can start this week to ask ourselves, what is being planted in us that is growing? Because the fact is, there's a lot of bad stuff getting into our heads whether it be through media, social media, gossip, or even just unconfessed sins. And when they linger inside here, guess what it's going to do? Corrupt the soul and corrupt the, so corrupt the soil. And what are we going to produce? Not very healthy fruit. So what I recommend, brothers and sisters, is to look this past week, what did you learn? And how can you take that knowledge into this week? And more importantly, I hope you always stay hungry for the truth.